Good morning, everybody. This is Michelle with Mr. And Mrs. Walker's Designs and Mr. Mrs. Walker's Attic on Etsy. And we also now have a physical space in a uh, gift and thrift store in Roland, Oklahoma. So if you're in this area, please come by and see us and check out what all uh, the shop owner and I have available for purchase. And also, we're having a huge sale this uh, outside sale this weekend. So, again, if you're in the area, come by and see us Friday and Saturday. Um, so today, I just kind of wanted to do a different type of video. Um, I uh, have been kind of busy. I set up that booth yesterday, and um, today I just kind of wanted to do a vlog type video. So um, right now you're looking at the uh, Etsy dashboard, and um, I just wanted to first I want to just thank everybody for supporting us here on YouTube and Etsy and Instagram um, and Facebook. I mean it's just um, I am I am so happy with the progress that the shop is showing and and all of your support and love we just really really appreciate it this is something that has been a dream of mine to do and <clears throat> excuse me and um, I just give God all the praise and the glory and um, for uh, making this happen and for my husband Mr. Walker Tony for uh, supporting me in all of all of my dreams so um, just wanted to thank everybody for that and I also wanted to show you the screen because we have made 20 sales so I am really pleased with that and I think just for being on um, Etsy for four months I think we're we're making good progress I uh, I knew it wasn't going to be a uh, overnight you know make it rich quick scheme <laughs> type of thing so um, I, I am happy with that and uh, so I hope that you will continue to support us and check out our shop I will be adding um, some more things and uh, just uh, just hang in there with us and hopefully you'll find your next treasure at Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Attic on Etsy. So um, I just wanted to share that with you and also I wanted to say that that 20th sale came this morning. So um, I'm now going to, um, you know, package up that sale and go ahead and get it out today. I was going to get out anyway. I have to go to Hobby Lobby and the grocery store. So... I just wanted to pop on here and show you that and maybe if you're not familiar with how Etsy works um, I can show you a little bit um, about how I go about things um, so uh, this person bought uh, a wallpaper pack and also bought um, the butterfly fabric so she bought i have two etsy listings of wallpaper packs and um what you do is you go in and put it, you put in a SKU number so you can keep up with your inventory and so she bought pattern i off of uh the SKU number of 00050 and then she bought the butterfly flab butterfly fabric which is you know it was its own listing so I went and pulled that so um, that is what she purchased so we're going to get that all packaged up and um, I'll I'm gonna try to take you along for the ride here um, for that <clears throat> so I'm gonna pause you and I'll be right back okay so now um, I'm over here at my desk where I have better lighting and so you can see that I have the butterfly fabric um, I'm going to this is what I was storing it in so I'll probably put it in something bigger and I will wrap it all nice and pretty and I will throw in uh, probably some additional fabric pieces as a thank you gift 
And then, um, since I did have two different listings for the wallpaper, um, I could not tell on my phone if she chose SKU 50 or SKU 49. So I went in and I pulled both of these um, to see which one she actually purchased. And she purchased 50. Okay, so 49 over here is still available. Well, let me show you what that looks like. I don't think I've done a video on the wallpaper, so I'm going to set hers aside. So... 49 has this this really pretty um these are retro wallpaper samples i think they're from the 80s um so this has some really pretty metallics and this one's kind of a fun and funky type of patterns this is a really pretty pastel um like greens and blues and purples and it has a texture to it there's another one of those that kind of has metallic in it. You can see it shining there. So for the most part, this one is just kind of beige color. This one's really pretty. This is a, a textured stripe. It has some metallic in it and purples and greens and blues. Very pretty. And then this one is just kind of a fun and funky. You remember these types of graphics from the 80s um so it has that that's you know different and then this is really pretty um it's triangles but it is like a almost a ombre type of effect with blues and greens and purples and so this one this pack is still available so if you like what you see Head on over to the shop and pick it up. We would appreciate it very much. So I will put that back together here in a little bit. Let me show you the one she purchased. It's a little different. It still has, hold on. <laughs> it still has kind of those funky graphics, but it's more in the gold tones. <clears throat> So there's this. This is this is the one she purchased. So this is no longer available, but I wanted to show you because there are more that are like it. So this one has really pretty kind of rose gold colors in it. It has almost like a spine on it. So it would make a really pretty junk journal cover. Don't know what she has planned, but this one is very pretty it's got some gold and greens in it and it's textured again some more gold but this is more of like a parchment i don't know almost like a paint technique really really pretty this one has more of the, the copper colors Lots of metallics, really nice marbling and colors in that. And so you get six uh, six samples, and they are approximately 9 by 12. And then this one is more just neutrals, beiges, and it has kind of that plaster texture to it. So that is the one she purchased, but there are more that are very similar over in the shop if you would like to go and pick that up okay so now i'm going to pause you again and i'm going to uh get this stuff packaged up and show you what i've thrown in as freebies and um get it all ready to go so i'll be right back okay so i'm back for just a bit to show you what i'm doing um I have put this fabric into a nice new plastic sleeve and I will get that all packaged up and as her freebie I'm going to gift her a few charm squares um, that I think she might like. They kind of go with the yellow butterfly flower um, type of theme. So I will get these put in the sleeve and I will get it all 
um, secure and something on it that, you know, tied up with something pretty. So there's that. And so what I do is just, I just have a box full of charm squares and whenever someone buys fabric from me or something that's textile related, I might go through this box and just see what I have that, um, I think that person might like, uh, kind of according to what they have purchased. So, um, I have that. I have other things too, but that's just one of the things I, I, I will pull from. Okay, and she also purchased wall, the wallpaper, so I'm going to gift her another piece of wallpaper. Um, this is off of a big roll that I have. It's a really pretty, again, 80s, I believe. The mauves and the blues and the flower theme there. So I have quite a big piece of that to uh, add in as a freebie. And then I'm also going to give her something that I have made. Um, I made these envelopes out of book pages of uh, botanical books and so I just did a little collaging on the front and then on the inside, sorry if I'm making you sit, I have uh, included a lot of embossed tags. So there's this and this. And just like this. So she will get a pocket full or envelope full of these little embossed tags to go uh, with the rest of what she has purchased. So um, let me get this packaged up and I will be back. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I just wanted to show you kind of how I packaged them up. I just put... Um, Put them in a you know a clear plastic sleeve these unfortunately don't have or not self-adhesive so i have to figure out some way of securing them so um with the fabric package i just put the charm squares down in there with the fabric she purchased and then i just i put some scotch tape on there but then i just kind of covered that up with some pretty washi tape and then i just tied a ribbon around it and then on this one i just secured it with some some scotch tape uh it's probably hard to see because i try to make it where you know you can't see that and then i just wrapped um some ribbon around it and made a pretty bow and i just keep ribbon uh remnants on a popsicle stick and then i put you know pins in it to secure it, the ribbon and then i just store these in a big um coffee mug type thing over on my other table so um, that's what I usually use to package up the um, the packages and cut this off get that off of there well oh, I missed there we go that looks better okay so um, that is how I'm going to you know individually wrap them and then I will wrap them up in um, I will probably wrap them up in either bubble wrap or something else to, to make them more secure. So let me um, get that all done and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got it. I decided I'd just wrap it in tissue paper and uh, tie it up with some twine. Um, I'm, so I will also print out a uh, receipt for her and i will fill out a handwritten thank you note with my business card in it and i will put that in probably under this twine here for her to you know to have uh and to thank her and so i decided not to wrap bubble wrap around it because i do have some of these bubble uh wrap mailers so i will be putting it in there and um printing a label shipping label and it'll all be ready to go so um, <clears throat> I think I'll end the video here because there's really, really nothing else um, I think fascinating about putting putting a package in a bowl mailer. So um, anyway, uh, please uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and comment if you have any questions about how I package things. And um, Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. 
Um, I thought I would just tag on a couple more things. I don't know. Maybe I'll take you through my day. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so this video may be a lot longer. We'll see. Um, anyway, I thought I would just tell you that uh, I had run out of business cards. So I had to print some more. And I just wanted to suggest using the Avery website. Um, it is awesome. I love it. I print my own business cards. And I print them on... Um, It is, I believe it's Avery 8371, and it's the Clean Edge business cards, and let me show you what they look like. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is what the package looks like. Um, smooth edges with no perforations. Um, I actually bought these, I think, at Goodwill. Uh, the whole package was not here, so I have I just printed the last three sheets that I had. Um, it is for inkjet, uh, 10 cards per sheet. Um, the actual, I guess, product number is 28877, um, but you use Avery Template 8371 on their website, and it is it's a beautiful, uh, I just think they come out really great looking. <laughs> so this is what they look like when they're printed. And I had started punching out so yeah they come apart really easily just snap apart very clean edge and this is what our business cards look like I really like them I'm I have in my Walmart cart um, the replacement to order some more so walmart.com does have them I think they're about ten dollars so that's not bad for 250 business cards, I don't think. No, 120. Sorry, 120. So that's not too bad. Um, they're a lot more expensive, of course, if you you know send them to Avery to be printed. They can do that. But they also have um, a lot more than just business cards. So once you uh, create your business card and all your design, you know, um, for that business card, then they can transfer that over to um, other uh, products. So hold on, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, for example, it says here, easily apply your design to other Avery products. So they've taken what I've designed on the business card and they're showing me what it would look like on two by two square labels, two inch round labels, shipping labels, and then I can view more templates. Well, I I am planning on uh, creating some return address labels. Of course, that won't have my business card information on them, but it'll be, I know it'll be easy peasy because this was so easy to do and they have so many really cool um, Hold on, something's going on with my phone. Sorry. They have some really cool uh, designs to choose from. So, if you just click on view more templates, then you can see all these templates that they have that you can choose from. Container labels, DVD labels, fabric transfers. I mean, I have all of the stuff that you can, of course, purchase. Um, and, but you could also look up the template number and see if you can find, or the product number, and see if you can find it somewhere else, uh, like Walmart. So you just have all these options. Just go into Avery.com and just play around with it. It's, it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna go back, I think, and go back to the very beginning um, oh well I guess kind of where I was and then I'm gonna design a return address label for Happy Mail so I don't have to keep writing <laughs> my uh, address over and over again so so I just wanted to show you that um, that's what I'm working on right now I'm getting this package all ready to go I just got to write my thank you note, stick my business card in there. Let me show you what I do with that. Um, I don't know if the Dollar Tree still has these. I bought these a long time ago, but this is what I'm using right now for business cards or for thank you notes. Um, let me see if I can get the, the lighting better here. I'm eating wavy salt and pepper lace. If you've never had wavy salt and pepper lace, they are Awesome. If you love black pepper, you will love these. We absolutely love them. So anyway, <laughs> just a side note. 
Um, this is what I use. These are gift card holders that you can, I, like I said, I got these at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. I don't know if you can still get them or not, but they are gift card holders. And they just open up like this, like this. And then they've got these little slits right here that you can put a gift card in. Well, a standard size business card fits perfectly in here. So, um, hold on just a second and let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to take you over back to the desk here where we have better lighting. I can show you what this looks like better. So, they come in different, um, you know, designs. I have this one and I have two other designs. But the business card, I may have to have two hands to do this. Probably so. But anyway, you see here, the business card will slip in there into each slot and it's nice and secure um, I've almost got it okay so uh, there's one side so the other side I'll, I'll slip it and it's nice and secure and then I'll write my thank you note up here and then fold this back up and stick it in the package so that is what that looks like so um, let me get this finished and I probably after this will probably go ahead and um, get ready to go to the stores that I want to go to and I may I may come back on um, <laughs> to show you uh, you know what I'm doing out and about today um, or this may be the end I don't know just you just have to keep watching to see <laughs> so hey guys uh, welcome back um, this may be a little dark. Let me see if it's better. I think it's a little better on the with the flash on. Um, I am in my bedroom actually. I was getting ready to go out. Um, I still haven't made it out yet. I keep finding things I need to do. So uh, while I was getting ready, I got the cha-ching on Etsy, and I have made two more sales. And uh, this is the first time I've ever made multiple sales in one day, much less in like within four hours of each other or whatever. So I just wanted to show you that um, I am in my bedroom, you know, was getting ready and, and everything. And, and so in my bedroom, I do have the wallpaper samples uh, I have in one of these, uh, you know, like one of these iris totes or whatever. And so um, I just came over and started pulling the ones out that this uh, particular customer bought. And so I thought I'd show you um, what that looked like. And uh, she bought uh, this pack here. So it just, it's, this one is a little different. This one has more of a like um, stained glass or art deco type of paper on it. And there are a lot more of these. Uh, the the style this is a really pretty style uh if you really like art deco or uh, stained glass so that's what this pack looks like that she just bought one of them and then she also bought this pack so it's more of the um kind of fun and funky 80s vibe has some of that really pretty striped textured pastels, some of that fun and funky stuff, pattern, and it has one, this triangular pattern that's in this really pretty blue. So I just thought I'd hop on here and show you that I have another order. Um, I'm going to try to get this out with the other one today. I don't know. If it's already almost one o'clock and I haven't left the house yet. So um, I, I hope to leave the house sometime today, but I'm not complaining. I would rather have orders coming in to fulfill um, than not having anything to do at all. So anyway, here, um, that is what um, she has ordered, and I'm trying to try to get this all packaged up. And then if you're interested in any more of this wallpaper, I still have quite a bit left. Um, here's another one of those. Uh, kind of stained glass patterns very very pretty um, here's another one in some lighter colors so um, I think that no here's some more over here 
I don't want to get these mixed up though. So here's one in more beigey pastel -y colors. Some more really pretty purples. These are more like uh, pastel, I mean, um, primary colors, so forth and so on. And so, um, anyway, if you're interested in this wallpaper, go over and grab it while you can because it seems to be very popular today. So, anyway, I will come back on to show you something different that I'm doing today. See you later. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm finally in the car. And I got my packages all ready to go into the mailbox at the post office. So I'm finally getting out of the house. I'm heading to Hobby Lobby and then to do some grocery shopping. But first, those salt and pepper chips were not my lunch. That is not enough lunch. Uh, so I'm going probably to stop probably at Chick-fil-A. I feel like treating myself to Chick-fil-A today. So I'm going to go head on to the post office in Chick-fil-A and I will check back in with you later. Bye! Hey guys, I'm back. I am in line at the post office. I'm about to drop off the packages. I just had my Chick-fil-A. There goes one. There goes the other one going to opposite ends of the country. They are one's going to Florida and the other is going to California. How cool is that? So yeah, I just devoured my Chick-fil-A. There's my bag. I did save the dogs some french fries though because those dogs, they love french fries. So there's some crumbs for them, especially Mr. Peanut. He loves french fries, so I saved him some french fries because they didn't get to come. As you can see, maybe, I don't know if you can see that or not, it says it is 96 degrees outside. It is way too hot for me to bring the dogs with me. When it is not hot, extremely hot or extremely cold, um, I do bring the dogs with me though to, um, here is a little bit of Fort Smith. Um, to you know bring them with me because i hate leaving them at home all cooped up so in their kennels so anyway i will be back i'm right across the street from a goodwill ah it is very tempting to go in there right now but i probably won't because i need to do some major grocery shopping so um i'll be back in a minute i'm planning on going to hobby lobby uh i'm going to hobby lobby to get some book corners but not for books for a different project so you'll have to stay tuned to find out what i'm getting book corners for so hold on and i'll be back hey guys i'm here in hobby lobby and um just for uh some of you that might want to know where the waxed cotton cording is um in case you don't know in hobby lobby it's actually with the leather working materials so, um, up here you have the beige and I think black, and that's a 25 yard package. And then you also have this 25 yard package and a different brand. And then down here you've got um, these bigger packages like this. And that's a hundred yards. So the hundred yards is $9.99. But of course, if you use your 40% off, that would be a good deal. Um, I'm only going to get the 25 yard for right now. Um, I'm going to use my 40% off on that. So, and then these grommets are uh, I found in the clearance aisle or eyelets, whatever you want to call them. So just in case you didn't know, I just wanted to show you all that. It's pretty cool. They got they got a beige. Um, brown, mm, mm, black, mm, looks like that's probably all they have is beige, brown, and black. So I'm still on the hunt for photo corners. 
uh, I mean book corners so let me come back with that hey guys I'm back in the car I just came out of Hobby Lobby um, I did not get the book corners that were in there um, I think I'm just gonna patronize another Etsy seller and get book corners but I did end up getting these uh, quarter inch grommets and the uh, 3 16 inch grommets and I uh, showed you earlier I got the uh, wax cotton cord 25 yards and then I have another project going for my uh, flea market booth so I got this knob um, to go on that project and hopefully I'll get to show you that soon um, sooner than the book corners probably project so uh, anyway this is a really really cute knob really pretty I think it's gonna match really well with the, the project that I have going. So that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. Um.